Hi, welcome to The Word is Art again. Um, tonight we're going to interview Marla Murphy, who's, uh, I'm very excited to have Marla as part of our members of the gallery with her beautiful and colorful art. Um, she just lights up the whole gallery. So without further ado, I'd like you to meet Marla Murphy. Hey, Marla. Hello. <laughs> Hello. How are you this evening? Good, good. We had a wonderful event for you on Saturday night. I was so pleased with the outcome. That was fun. It was a lot of fun. So thank you for putting that on. Sure. Your efforts were, I'm sure, rewarded. Um, so, you know, it seems like everybody is a transplant in L.A. Where do you originally come from? Oh, well, I'm from Akron, Ohio, or a little place outside of Akron. Oh. It was actually a farmland that after the war became the suburbs and, and my father built a house out in the suburbs and I grew up there. And what did he farm? Well, he actually worked at the rubber company like most of the people in Akron, but uh, the, the, the guy behind us was old Mr. Berger and he was the farmer and he sold off his farmland little by little uh -huh. into little plots of, you know, houses. So, yeah. Yeah. I used to paint his barn when I was small. I oh, go really? And, and the first time I did, I, I knocked on his door and I said, I was just a little girl, I had my paints and my little easel and, and I said, can I paint your barn? And he looked at me and he looked at me. He was kind of a recluse, nobody ever talked to him. So it was really you know, brave of me to go up and knock on his door and he finally said, the barn don't need painting. <laughs> <laughs> so that was the first time I painted his barn, and I painted off it after that. Oh, so. that's cool. Yeah. Okay, so tell us where, what, and when you started creating art. I, I would imagine that that would be your first experience well, with your little you know, paints. I don't remember a time when I didn't have a coloring book or crayons in my hands, mm -hmm. my chubby little fingers when I was really little. Um, but somebody bought me, I think it was my mom and dad, they said Santa Claus, bought me a John Nagy Learn to Draw Oh, I kit. know that name. Yeah. Yeah. And so that was the best Christmas present ever. Oh. And I, I think that's when I really started to draw. In the coloring book, I always stayed in between the lines mm -hmm. because I was a good girl. But the time that I stopped staying within the lines, that's when I became an artist, I think. Wow. So, and, you know, you have such a vibrancy to your colors. I, oh, I, you. I don't know that I know anybody else. I've not encountered anybody with your vibrancy. What do you uh, attribute the, uh, the colors to? Well, well, you know, I used to paint very dark, at very dark times. Really? And, um, you know, after years of therapy and stuff, I, I, I got through painting the, the dark stuff, and then one day I just... It all brightened up and I was happy and I've been painting brightly ever since. Wow. I mean, it's unusual. I, I, you know, some of your art does, you know, represent normal colors, mm -hmm. um, you know, that most people can relate to. But then you have paintings such as your trees that are just extraordinary. I mean, the, the colors just pop right out at you. and. It, 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 it really represents what's going on in your mind. So I, I'm thinking that you must be a very happy person because those are really <laughs> happy colors. Uh, well, you know, life is short and, uh, you know, I should have been dead years ago, you know, with all the, you know, the crazy life that I've lived. Yeah. And um, so every day I wake up, I go, damn, another day I'm alive. Isn't this great? Oh, damn. So, so uh, yeah, life is... Uh, you know, I like to paint the circus and, you know, the beach and the cafes and, and um, you know, I'm, I'm basically a happy person. I know you are. You have a great sense of humor as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I know you um, use several different mediums. Is there one in particular that you prefer? If so, why? You know, I go back and forth. Right now I'm using uh, liquid acrylics mm -hmm. by Golden. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes I do oil pastels, yes. sometimes soft pastel, um, some watercolor, I, whatever I have around. And uh, I actually spend too much time at art supply stores. So like most artists, I have an abundance of art supplies. That's but, where I lost you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
but uh, you know, whatever is uh, you know nearby, I just sort of um, you know pick up something and start working. With stuff. So there's not one preferred than the other. It's just what's at hand. I'd say right now it's the liquid acrylics. Okay. Um, but I go back and forth, and probably my second favorite would be oil pastel. Okay. I got to venture into those. I just found my set today. Oh, so much fun. Yeah, I, I, I know that they are. I just, you know, I, I do so many crazy things that, you know, it's it's hard to juggle it all. Right. And um, so I know you make some jewelry. Right. So is there, you know, do you want to advance your technique? No. Uh, in the jewelry, or you're, you're happy doing... You know what? I'm not a jeweler. What I do is uh, I, I'm attracted to the colors of the beads. Yeah. So I just play with the colors, play with the beads, string them together, and uh, you know, people seem to like the color combinations. They I definitely with, do. So, yeah. you know, but uh, no, I'm not a jeweler. Okay. So you're going to really stick to your paintings. Right. And, okay. So... Um, what else can we look forward to um, among your um, artistic repertoire? I mean, is there some uh, passion that you have that you haven't uh, ventured into yet? My passion right now is playing Plants vs. Zombies video game. Oh, really? In my house <laughs> free of zombies oh, for my, my husband goodness. and I. That's my, uh, what I'm doing. But when I'm not playing zombies, I go to my studio and I paint. And uh, I, I want to spend more time there. I don't know why it's four blocks from my house, oh. but um, sometimes I don't get over there. But my, my plans are to spend more time painting. I see. Okay. And uh, what are your hopes and dreams for yourself um, where your art is concerned? Do you have um, some kind of a, a, an ultra, ultra goal that uh, you would like to attain um, at some point in the near future? Yes, I want to get looser. Looser, yeah. really? Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Yeah, I feel myself, especially things like this, I get, I get so tight and, and realistic and I just, um, yeah. I, actually, I have a, on my Kindle, I have a children's art uh, game. And I've been playing with that, and it's gotten me a little looser because you only have your finger to, to use, and, and um, you know, it's so wide that you can't get in there and do little details. So that's been fun to play with. You, you introduced me to, what is it, draw, draw uh, or something? Drawing pad. Drawing pad, yeah. Right. And yeah. when I purchased my iPad, the, one of the first things I did was download Isn't it fun? A, a, an app. I haven't had a chance to even oh, venture got, into it. Oh, just... But it's for that one reason. It'll be four in the morning. I'll look up and say, oh, my God, it's four in the morning. i got to really? put my finger to bed. You know, oh, myself. my goodness. But, yeah. That's an exciting prospect for it me. Is. Especially because I'm so controlled. And, and uh, so I understand that wanting to do that. Loosen up and, you know, be just Become like, a child again. Yes, yeah. exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Well... I just want to say thank you for this interview and for sharing yourself with our viewers. And um, I want to say thank you for putting this gallery together. Oh. It's uh, I love the co-op. I love the other artists, and it's just all very supportive. And I know you work very hard at it. And I want to thank you for doing that. Thank you, and thank you for being part of it and for trusting me. And um, I love having you here. Yeah, my pleasure. Okay. Well, bye. -bye. Mm -hmm. See okay, ya. turn it off. <laughs> <laughs>